What's up all my fine, fine girls? No pimple is with here again with another video. So today I am back with yet again another perfume video. And today we're gonna be talking about some of my top fall recommendations for fragrances. So um, you guys, I'm somebody that, you know, I'm a summer girl, okay? I do love me the summer weather, but you know what? Summer can go ahead and wrap it up and and, and be on the way out, okay? Go ahead and be on the way on out. Y'all, this has probably been one of the hottest summers ever, okay? So I am ready for some fall. I did some Googling, okay? And the first official day of fall should be September 23rd. So I decided this video would be appropriate for this time frame because, you know, we are getting ready to go into that season. And so I just wanted to show you guys some of my recommendations and some perfumes that I also want to pull out more. Well, not that I don't use some of these, but there's some in here that I definitely want to use more come this fall weather because I just feel like in the summertime or springtime, like it's just not it for me. So this would definitely suit this weather better once it's cooler and whatnot. So I have 11 fragrances here that I want to show you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I mean, can we do a fall fragrance video without talking about this perfume? First up on the list is by the brand MFK and this is going to be Grand Soir, okay? And I want to make a bigger dent in this. I want to use this perfume more. I don't really get much use out of it because I don't know, like this type of fragrance is, I have to be in a mood for this. Like I have to really, plan out what I plan on doing that evening or that day and factor this in like this for me is not a perfume that I can just grab and throw on and go like I mean I have to really consider her like I mean this is definitely more of a deeper boozier scent it's definitely more um, amber heavy so yes it has notes of amber vanilla tonka bean lavender in there it's a really beautiful fragrance and i want to get more wear out of this i want to actually make a nice little dent in this fragrance come this fall so she's on my list okay so we're gonna get some use out of it also i do recommend it. i think it's a beautiful fragrance for the fall time all right next yet again can we do this video without talking about her by the fireplace by mason margella i mean you guys you guys see y'all see my girl okay i love this perfume i just think it's just a gorgeous scent i know it's not everybody's favorite either you really love it or you really you really hate it for me i really love it so this one does have notes of clove pink pepper orange blossom chestnut wood vanilla it smells like a fireplace like the name is very very it's, it's a great description of this perfume so yes it's just beautiful smoky but in a good way in a way that i like for perfume love the scent all right i have two bdk perfumes that i want to talk about the first is going to be gris charnel this is yet again another perfume that reminds me of grand soir not the smell of it but more so the use of it like i have to really think about what i want to do that day like this is not an easy reach for me i don't just think to grab this and just spray on like if i'm just like rushing or i just need something just quick and you know to, to throw on like i don't think about this one so i do want to get a bigger dent in it this fall this one does have notes of cardamom fig black tea iris bourbon vetiver, vetiver, sandalwood, tonka bean. This right here is definitely more of a fig type of scent. It's more green. It's not going to be a save line by. It's not going to be everybody's favorite. But, you know, for me, when I did, I actually sampled this out first. When I sampled, I was like, I like it, but do I love it in order to buy it? And it was one of those that I had to keep playing around with. And I was like, no, I like you. I like you. But for me, I definitely need a time and a place like I to wear this. This is not something that's an easy reach for me. So, this fall, I want to be more like adamant or just conscious of picking this fragrance up and wearing it more often. Okay, now one, now this perfume, honestly, she could be worn whatever, but yeah, she's definitely like giving me fall vibes because I think I bought her in the fall time. But either way it goes, this scent, oh, what's going on here? This scent right here um, is just beautiful. Honestly, you could wear whatever, but it's going to be a beautiful fall scent and that's going to be BDK's Passe Soir. So this one has top notes of ginger, mandarin orange, um, black pepper. It also has notes of quince, jasmine, orange blossom, amberwood. Like, I mean, y'all, this perfume is so beautiful. And when I was getting into the house of BDK and I wanted to like, start shopping with them, my, like the perfume that I was, like I wanted so badly out of all of them was Gris Charnel, which is crazy. And that was actually the last one that I purchased. And I was kind of like, you know, brushing Passe Soir off because everybody was talking about it, but I was just like, eh, no, I want to know about Gris Charnel. Like, can I want to see our reviews on that. And this actually happens to be my favorite one of the collection or yeah, of their line. I love, love, love this perfume. As you guys can see, I have a nice little dent in there. I mean, it's not like dramatic, dramatic, but I mean, she's there. Okay. And so, yeah, this is a beautiful scent and I would definitely recommend this for fall and really any time of the, any time of the year, but 
for me, I'm definitely gonna get my use out of her. Beautiful, beautiful set. Compliment getter, okay? Compliment gets her. Next up on the list, this is by the brand Stefan Lucas, and this is Sand Dense. This right here is just, it reminds me of a chocolate martini, mind you. I would never drink a chocolate martini. I'm the, like, in school, I was a kid that drank white milk, okay? I just, I don't know, I just did not like chocolate milk, did not wanna drink it. When, you know, you would make your bowl of cereal in the morning, and some kids will put chocolate milk in there. I was the, I was the white milk, okay? I don't know what it is, but when it comes to chocolate milk, chocolate shake, cho chocolate stuff, I'm just not into it. Now, I would do a good chocolate protein shake. I would drink that. I would not drink a vanilla chocolate, um, vanilla protein shake. Just not really my thing. It, 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 tastes, it tastes weird. But I just got off all subject. <laughs> Either way it goes, this reminds me of a beautiful chocolate martini done in a perfume way. This one right here has notes of whiskey, coriander, mandarin orange, orange cacao, sandalwood, Tonka bean, patchouli, like, I mean, this is a beautiful, beautiful scent to put on. And I feel like for the fall weather, this will just, just smell really nice, like on a, like a cold, we're not, we're not gonna be cold, cold, I mean, you said, okay, we're not gonna have chilly days, okay? But a cooler day, and even when we get into that winter weather, this would go really, really well. Like, you know, I just, I, this is something that I would not wanna wear, really wanna think about it on like a hot, summer day like our 100 degree days that we have been facing here in houston okay so yes beautiful scent next up this one's newer to my collection but i feel like this would be a great scent for the fall still and this is going to be commodity milk so this right here has notes of milk marshmallow taco bean honestly this is a scent that really you can wear in my personal opinion i think you can wear it anytime you want to but for the fall time i think it's gonna be beautiful i think it's gonna go really well just gorgeous scent love 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 this one Yet again, another one that, you know, can we really have this video and not talk about her? And that's going to be Lancome's Eau de Bouquet. This is from their private line. This right here is your beautiful praline type of boozy scent. Just really sweet, but at the same time, polarizing, if that makes sense. Okay, so for me, I have to, I cannot be heavy handed with this because I feel like this can really just start to be overwhelming. A little goes a long way with this one, okay? A little goes a long way. So this one has notes of Argo, oh, this one has notes of oud, praline, rose, vanilla. Uh, um, yeah, so it has, sorry, I didn't, I'm, I don't know why I don't like reading off the rest of the notes, but I'm gonna have it here on the screen for you guys. <laughs> but anyways, yes, this is just a beautiful praline type of scent with that oud, that vanilla. But yet again, for me, I don't like to overspray her because she can be a little too much, okay, team too much. So yes, but gorgeous scent and she does have projection and longevity okay next up is going to be the house of oud dates delight so this is this one right here this one has notes of dates peony cinnamon honey sugar vanilla tonka bean all that good stuff in here just a beautiful scent for me it's giving me more fall time especially for me more nighttime wear i wouldn't really grab this wear in the daytime so like on a, a nice cool fall evening not this hot weather that we've been suffering through. This would be beautiful. She, re she really would. All right, I have a Nishane one here and this is going to be Fan Your Flames. So this right here is going to be your tobacco, your rum. Um, it has your oak moss, your tonka, coconut. Like, I mean, it has all that, okay? Oh, just took some of my, 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 my lipstick off, some of my lip gloss. Am I the only one who like, if you mistakenly touch like your lip gloss, you just like rub it in like moisturizer? Okay, anyways. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, this right here is a beautiful fall scent. And it's another one that I want to get more of a dent in. Like, I don't, it, it's one of those where, kind of like Grand Soir, kind of like Gris Charnel, I have to really think about wearing this. Like, I have to be, oh, I'm out of focus. I have to really be in the mood for this. Like, this is not something that is just an easy grab for me. So I want to make a dent in this, in this fragrance. I want to get more use out of it. Can you put me in focus, please? Please, please. I wish my camera was not hating on me. Okay, so anyways, I definitely wanna get more use out of this. I have two more here, and this one's gonna be by the House of Mancera, and this is Jardine Exclusive. This right here is a beautiful, beautiful scent, but it's intense, it's loud. This um, reminds me of, and it actually smells very similar, and it has damn near similar notes, if not most of them are the same, to create events for her. Okay, um, I was not in the market of trying to dupe that perfume. I actually wanted it when I bought this because this is a blind buy. When I bought it, I realized this smells similar. And I then it clicked to me, this smells just like Creed. And then when I looked at the notes, I was like, yep, it smells just like it. So for me, I like this one. 
it's more expensive you get more product in here so yes for me this perfume is very loud and it's one that i cannot overspray okay I cannot overspray this because i will choke myself out with this and mind you i'm an oversprayer sorry if i keep looking here my monitor's here i have to make sure i'm in focus because it keeps trying to take me out of focus anyways yes beautiful scent this one has notes of pear peach i'm oh, sorry pear white peach lemon caramel green apple black currant Sicilian orange, ambergris, jasmine, violet, Bulgarian rose, white musk, Madagascar. But it has a bunch of stuff in here that I like. Okay. So when I saw the note, I was like, I kind of want to buy you. And I did. And I love it. Absolutely gorgeous scent. Gonna be great for fall time. Because I feel like sometimes with these louder scents, they definitely give me more fall weather. Like something like this. Like it's really like loud and beast mode projecting and can honestly be a bit overwhelming. So I feel like in hot weather, I don't I don't know I feel like you're already hot and just imagine something just like really just kind of like you know almost choking you out I don't know it's just uncomfortable so I feel like when you know the weather is cooler this would be great to pull out all right and the last one I have here I can never pronounce this correctly this is by the brand Nobel 1942 this is La Donza del Labelle this one has notes of red apple bergamot cinnamon vanilla every time i actually bought this because lucky sent it as a sample i wasn't in the market of trying to like I, I had no clue what this perfume was until i saw it as a sample i was like oh i like this i'm gonna buy it and i bought it beautiful 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 scent it smells like a warm apple pie just gorgeous type of gourmand scent love this and you guys that right there would be my fall recommendations and not only fall recommendations some of these fragrances are some scents that i definitely want to get more use out of more wear out of i want to actually get some dents in there i'm not somebody that just wants to collect perfumes just to collect it and not ever really wear it so i want to get use out of my perfumes i want to get 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 wears out of them because these perfumes are not cheap okay so definitely want to use up my products and make some nice dents in them but yes comment down below some of your you know fall recommendations or things that you plan on pulling out for this fall are you excited for fall because i sure am okay like i said how many times in this video it has been a very 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 hot summer like excruciatingly hot for no damn reason <sighs> I am ready for it to cool down okay we're finally back into like the high um, 90s like that being our high so i'm hoping it just continues to go down but anyways until next time i will talk to you later bye